Hey, yo, what up? This is not a podcast. It's just my thoughts with Rob Markman. Shout out to everybody who's been supporting the channel. Like, subscribe, comment, right? I feel like I'm obligated to say that, but y'all know what it is. I want to continue to talk about Tyler, the Creator's album. You know, Chromacopia dropped on Monday and it's projected to sell 250000 plus. Could go as high as 300000 I saw in some places being reported. And that's album equivalents, right? Album equivalent sales streaming into sales in this first week. And that's technically without a full week of being out. It dropped on Monday. Billboard starts their tallies on Friday. So they didn't get a full week and, and still looking to do amazing numbers. And also believe a large number, a huge number, a good chunk of that comes from pure sales thanks to the vinyl release. So, you know, we'll look at what those sales are. Shout, shout to Tyler. You know, you know me. I'm not like the sales guy. Sales doesn't determine quality to me. I, but the album is great. So I think um, it's dope when you see just good music, good art, also have the good commercial success. And, you know, I don't think he was like pandering like this wasn't made to be a billboard hit or, or something i mean this album is just so honest i've been listening to it all week and the way the album is just deeply personal um and actually at during a listening event that tyler had in atlanta he said this was the first album where everything i said was true you know that's a quote from him you know and that there were no exaggerations on the album he also said it's so honest that i think i had to wear a mask on my own face just to get some of that shit out so Shout out to Tyler, man. I think he made an a amazing body of work and still absorbing it, still living with it. So, you know, but um, I came across something when, when I was listening and diving into the album and reading into the album and listening and relating. And, you know, y'all heard me say that um, on my last video, on the first video I did with Chromacopia when it came out on Monday, that Hey Jane is one of my favorite songs. That, that transition from Darling Eye into Hey Jane, I think is so dope. Um, the storytelling on Hey Jane, the emotion, the honesty, and th there was something that, that, you know, the song starts with Tyler's mom saying, you know, always wear a condom, right? And then Tyler starts, Hey Jane, we got the news and I ain't know what to do. I didn't panic. I was comforted and you still in shock, but damn delayed response. Is this really true? If it was bound to happen to me, I'm lucky as you. Basically, Jane is pregnant and Tyler's going through the emotions, but being supportive, Right. And he's scared and he's nervous, but he's being supportive. And he's bugged out, but he's being supportive, right? Like the support is the mainstay, but Tyler still gets his, his emotions out. But lets the listener know and in and, and rapping to Jane that, listen, I, I this is weird. I'm nervous. I'm scared. What I feel is secondary to what you're going through. Um, then he has this line. I know our exes want to see us in hell. This ain't about them, though. This ain't about kinfolk. This is our decision with a small window. I want to jump out, but if you want to stay in the room, I cannot bug out. Time blocking the driveway. I cannot pull out now. I didn't pull out. Fire. That's a fire line. I can't pull out now. I didn't pull out. Why wow, I'm disappointed in me. This ain't like me. How could I be so reckless? This ain't my lifestyle. Never had no scare in my life till now. Ain't in the space to raise no goddamn child. Then he ends the verse with, maybe this is a blessing in, the, in disguise, not a regret. Look, Jane, it's your choice. At the end of the day, just know I support either way, no pressure. So, you know, the question is, and and for, for those of us and, and any, anybody who's been through it, right? Should should they keep the baby? Should they abort? Is, is there an alternative method? Should they seek another way? Either way, it's her decision, you know, um, pro-choice is a woman's choice. That's what I believe, clearly. Um, it's what Tyler believes um, within this song. Verse 2, he flips the perspective and he raps from Jane's perspective. Instead of, hey, Jane, it starts, hey, T, we got the news and I forgot how to breathe in the panic. You was comforting me. Damn, what do we do? What are the odds? Is this really true? If it was bound to happen to me, I'm lucky as you. And then he goes on just rapping about the emotions that she goes through, right? He's rapping from her perspective. So the emotions that she goes through, the way her body changes and et cetera. And then as Jane, he ends, T, no matter the decision today, I want us to be cool either way. No pressure. So the no pressure at the end of her verse and at the end of his verse mirrors, you know, each other. Right. So to me, that's just a dope detail of, of songwriting. So here's the thing. Here's the interesting, I, I'm just setting it up for those who haven't heard the song. Maybe I'm not assuming everybody heard it. Most of you heard it. Most of you know what the song is about. So here's the thing that I saw on genius, the other layer I saw it on genius.com. Yeah. I know that I, that I work at genius, but there's a community of people. Anybody can sign up for genius, be a part of the community transcribe lyrics, leave annotations, 
do deep dives. So shout out to the Genius community. But but here's something that I saw in Genius. It's another layer. And I'm not sure if y'all knew it was there. And if, if this is something that everyone got right away and I'm the last to know, tell me in the comments. Yo, Rob, we've been knowing that. You're bugging out. Y'all can flame me. If, if I'm the last to know, y'all can flame me. I didn't know, though. But HeyJane.com. HeyJane.com is a website for safe and private abortion care that, that that's what they say on their website I'll, I'll put up a screenshot it says welcome to your safe space hey jane is your patient centered virtual reproductive and sexual health care haven right here's another page it says hey jane is for anyone seeking care if you need reproductive or sexual health care including abortion care we're here for you Hey Jane strives to be an inclusive clinic and accepts patients located in our eligible states, regardless of their insurance status, gender identity, or immigration status. It says, Hey Jane is for anyone who supports reproductive freedom. As one of the first virtual clinics to offer abortion care, Hey Jane has always stood up for access. When you support Hey Jane, you support reproductive freedom and quality of life for all. So this is not an endorsement of the site. Let me just say that I've, I've never heard of, of Hey Jane before I am um, pro-choice, you know, when, when, when it comes to this issue that, that, you know, we don't get into politics too much here, but that's just my politics. That's what I believe. So I believe in pro-choice, but this is not an endorsement of the site. I've never heard of them before. I don't know um, the quality of care of their service. So I encourage you all to do your own research. Right. But I thought in this moment, when there's such a fight for women's reproductive rights in the U S with Roe v. Wade being overturned, with women in several U.S. states losing their right to choose, um, with it being reported, it was reported by NBC News, I, I'll put the thing, the screenshot up, but it was reported that there's a rise of pregnant women dying in Texas after the abortion ban in Texas. With this U.S. presidential election coming up in a few days, th to me, this just was just a really powerful detail and the timing of this detail. Now, now I want to be clear. This can be a coincidence. This could be unintentional. Maybe her name was really Jane. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or, or, you know, obviously it's true. Tyler said in Atlanta, he has been very vocal. This is his most honest album. Everything is true. So this is a true story um, to the degree that he took poetic license. You know, we don't know. And that as a rapper, that that's fine. Or maybe her name was really Jane. And maybe this, the site's name is Hey Jane as well. Like, and maybe it's just this strong, strong coincidence um, it could be an unintentional layer from what Tyler was thinking and what he was feeling when he wrote it. You know, I know a lot of times we theorize, right, and, and on YouTube channels and lyric breakdowns. And again, even I come from genius, we theorize and read into what artist means. And I'm going to be honest with any artist, but especially Tyler, <laughs> with any artist, I can never, we could never quite know unless Tyler says it. But, and, and with Tyler, I always learn to expect the unexpected, you know what I'm saying? So really until Tyler says or confirms what it is, maybe he'll do an interview. Maybe he'll do an interview here. He, who knows? Um, you know, this is just interesting nonetheless. It's just the intro. It, it, it's either super intentional, which, which is dope, or it's either interesting coincidence, which is super dope, and it just opens up further conversation about the song and, and further needed conversation that I think that we need to have about this issue. But... Y'all gotta let me know what y'all think. Hit me in the comments. Um, you know I talk back. You know, it's just something I wanted to holler at y'all about. See what y'all thought about it too. All right? Till the next time. Peace.